Hi, today we're going to discuss how to identify thylacine prints in the field, and more specifically, prints made with their front feet. The best way is to study actual footage of the thylacine, and even though they are filmed in a cage, it gives us a great insight in what to look for. When we watch past footage, we automatically are drawn to the stripes and their wide gaping mouth. However, in this video, please just concentrate on their front feet. As a geologist, I've spent years looking at fossils and rocks. Fossilised prints and their track lines are amazing, as they show that an animal once lived and moved over the ground. So when you can identify an animal's print and track line in the field, you know that a living, moving animal has passed through the area. The most important identifying feature of a thylacine's front feet is its fifth toe. And unlike a dog's fifth toe, it is located very close to the other four toes. In a dog, this fifth toe is known as the dew claw. The dew claw in a dog is not opposable, unlike the thylacines, where it acts like a human thumb. It can be used to grab. It can grab its prey, and it's also actually perfectly adaptable, along with its huge pads, to be able to climb rock boulders, escarpments, etc. So if we think of the thylacine's fifth claw as a thumb, it has to be near the other four toes for it to be of any real use. We will now take a look at the comparison between the canine and thylacine front foot anatomy. The first thing you will notice is how long the fifth toe or dew claw is on the thylacine. It is so long that it actually protrudes past the metacarpus. So when laid on the ground, a thylacine's fifth toe and claw will always be alongside the metacarpal pad. In a dog, the dew claw will always be seen underneath the metacarpal pad. In this slide, I want to show why the dew claw is rarely seen in dog prints unless it is very soft substrate. And when it does show, it's always far too low against the metacarpal pad to be a thylacine. Imagine this canine's foot pushing down into the ground. The mark it will always make will always be behind the metacarpal pad and not beside it. I will now show you some examples of the thylacine's front paw print. You will quickly recognise that the fifth toe and claw is always located beside the metacarpal pad. So hopefully now you understand how to identify a thylacine front paw print in the field. If so, can you tell me which one of these print lines are from a dog and which ones are from a thylacine? 